In today's video, I will teach you how to view layers in GIMP. Let's get started. GIMP is one of the most beginner-friendly and free editing programs that is available right now. But let's start with the basics. Working with layers is a vital component of digital picture editing since it lets you make highly detailed composites and complex alterations that would otherwise require hours of tedious labor. To work with layers in GIMP, you can look at the right side of the editor where the layers panel is located. Here, you will see your background layer if you're working with a blank canvas, or you will see your images and graphics if you're working with those elements. If your layers panel is not visible, you can simply go to the menu bar, windows, dockable dialogs, and select layers or simply use the shortcut key Ctrl L. If your layer is visible in the layers panel but it's not visible on your canvas, the layer might be hidden from your canvas. To make your layer visible, simply click the eye icon right next to the layer's thumbnail. You can click it again if you want to hide it. This feature is very useful when you're working with multiple layers. But if you would like to lock your layers in order to freely work with other elements, you can simply use one of these tools on the layer that you would like to lock. This one locks the pixels on your layer. This one locks the position and size of the layer where it is applied. And this one locks the alpha channel or the background layer. To use them, simply click the layer that you would like to lock, choose the lock option that you want, and click the element that you wish to lock. If you're working with multiple layers, you can manage them by simply dragging the layers above or below. When you upload a new image on your canvas, it will automatically appear on top of your selected layer. Take note that the uppermost layer is going to be the most visible of all layers, while the bottommost layer will be at the background of your design. So, you can simply arrange them according to how visible you would like them to be. If you would like to add a new layer, Go to the bottom of the Layers panel and click Create a New Layer icon. In this panel, you can change the name of the layer to whatever adjustment that you would like to make. You can also categorize the layers by color so you can easily keep up with the existing layers. You can also change the blending mode of the layer here, but if you're not sure about it, you can still do it later and leave this parameter on default. Now, simply adjust each parameter according to your preferences. And once you're satisfied, you can now click OK. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.